Today we are going to uh, review the questions for comprehension that are found at the end of Lesson 1, Science and Space, for the 4th grade unit, Matter and Energy. Our first question is, what is the main idea of this section? Summarize the key points in two or three sentences. This, sen this question is almost always going to be the first question you get in any of the units that you'll have in 4th or 5th grade. And we always want to find the main idea, not just the example that is used. So here in this unit, we talk a lot about the zebrafish um, and the International Space Station and the experiments on them. But that's not really the main idea. We have to dig a little deeper. So the main idea of this section is that science is all knowledge learned from experiments, including all the knowledge about matter. Matter is made up of different combinations of atoms, which determine the properties of matter. We see both matter and experiments being discussed through that zebrafish example. Question two, are what examples are used in the text to support the main idea of the section? So here's where we can talk now about the zebrafish and the other examples of matter with the um, grapefruit in the football field, um, those examples. So we say that some examples from the text used to support the main idea include experiments on the International Space Station, specifically the study of the zebrafish in space. The zebrafish are made up of matter, as is the water that, in which the fish live. So we see that matter is being used in real life as the zebrafish and the water and the container that they're in. And then we see that those examples of that experiment, what are they being tested on? Uh, what are we trying to find out? How are the scientists going about that study? Question three. How does the text relate the atoms that make up a piece of matter to its properties? Remember that all matter is made up of atoms and the atoms have small pieces, protons, neutrons, and electrons. So how does that relate to the properties? Hardness, texture, uh, color, odor, like a smell. And we say that the text relates that atoms that make up a piece of matter to its properties by explaining that matter has the properties it does because of the number and kinds of atoms that make it up. So hydrogen and oxygen make water, and those combinations in certain amounts will make water in its properties liquid, and then you can freeze it. If you do other atoms, other molecules and elements, they're going to make something completely different that will have different textures and different properties because of the combination of those elements. And our last question, question four, how does the text use comparisons to explain the scale of an atom? This is where they're asking about that football field and the grapefruit and the blueberry, all those things used to explain just how small an atom really is. So the text uses comparisons to explain the scale of an atom, so it is easier to understand how the size of the atom relates to everyday objects and how the smaller parts of the atom relate to one another. For example, if each atom in the grapefruit were the size, size of a blueberry, the grapefruit would have to be the size of Earth. The text also explains that if one atom were the size of a blueberry, the nucleus, the inside part where the protons and neutrons are, would be too small to see. The atom would have to be the size of a football field to see the nucleus. Even then, the nucleus would be tiny, the size of a marble, compared to the football field. So take a minute, go over these questions, and get ready to move on to lesson two.